Hi guys! This is my tutorial for a water slide and glitter trick or treat Halloween tumbler. I've already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and Rust Oleum flat white spray paint, and now I'm ready to tape off my tumbler. As always, y'all know I'm not a stickler for exact measurements, so after measuring to get an idea of where I wanted my sections to be, I literally just found something laying around to use to mark my lines, and in this case, it was one of my kids' cereal bowls from Ikea. Don't judge me. For this tumbler, we'll be doing something similar to our Hello Fall tumbler and glittering our cups and sections, but this time we'll be starting in the middle. I usually ombre from top to bottom, but in this case, I stopped midway and decided to start right in the middle to make sure my candy corn coloring was nice and even. Because I use Fast Set to apply my glitters, I immediately pull the tape when I'm finished. Fast Set is literally starting to cure as soon as you apply it, so don't wait too long before you pull your tape. I let this section cure for about two hours and then I glittered the rest of the tumbler. I let these final sections cure for another two hours, sealed with Prylon Triple Thick to keep my glitter from moving, and then I was ready for my first coat of epoxy. As we all know, I love to create depth in my tumblers wherever I can, so I decided to add some extra chunky glitter to my middle section. White on white, orange on orange, and yellow on yellow. Let this layer cure, add another coat of epoxy to make sure it's nice and smooth, and then we'll be ready to add our water slide. 
I sanded the rim of my tumbler with a 1500 grit sanding disc to make it nice and smooth. The dull rim will barely be visible under the water slide, but if you have to sand further down than that, add another thin coat of epoxy or the dullness after sanding will keep your glitter from being sparkly under the water slide. I used Hayes Water Slide Clear Decal Paper for inkjet printers, and because I use an inkjet, I have to seal my water slide until it's nice and glossy. If you have a laser printer, you can skip this sealing step. For the image, I used one of the Halloween digital paper designs from Fantasia Design on Etsy. The set has several super cute designs, and if you don't like these, check out their others. They have tons. To figure out how big to make my cuts, I couldn't use my eyeball technique this time. I grabbed my measuring tape and T-square to figure out the sizing I needed. One tip that I always try to do and remember is to measure twice, cut once. When you're finished cutting your water slide sections, add them to water, wet your tumbler to make them easier to apply, and then add your water slide. I like to use a silicone face mask brush to remove any bubbles. I let the water slide dry for about an hour or so, then I added a coat of epoxy to seal it. I totally forgot to film that step under epoxy, you guys, I am so sorry, but make sure you do not skip that step. You need to seal it in order to protect your water slide. When you're all done, let's set up our decal. With layered decals like this one, before I cut, I like to organize my decal by welding together certain elements. This is just how I like to do it, but by all means, do whatever is easiest for you.
Usually after this point, this is where I tell y'all to slap on that last coat of epoxy and be done, but y'all should know better. First, I sealed my vinyl with quick coat from CCDIY, let dry for about 30 minutes, and now we're gonna add some extra sparkle, but just a little bit. I'll be adding the glitter in some of the darker parts of the water slide, not all over. And if you can see the seam of the water slide, go ahead and camouflage that sucker up with some glitter. See? More glitter helps. Added one more coat of epoxy to make it nice and smooth and then I was all done. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your water slide and glitter trick-or-treat Halloween tumblers and I'll see you again next time.